At the end of apartheid in 1994, Nelson Mandela said South Africa belongs to all those who reside in it. But the last few weeks has seen a challenge to the architect of the Rainbow Nation. The legacy of racism in the last month has reared its ugly head in the form of xenophobic attacks by some native South Africans towards other foreign nationals, including Africans. This has taken form in the looting and torching of their shops and homes. This week alone, reports emerged of a Nigerian church set on fire, alleged by some locals as a brothel. I'm saying they're making our place corrupt here, so we don't want them here anymore, you understand? They open their business in our country. Why don't they go to their country? We are in our country. This latest attack in Shwane, Pretoria, rose up in the run-up to a planned march last week Friday by a local anti-foreigner group who call themselves the Mamelodi Concerned Residents. The organization sees migrants from Asia and Africa as responsible for the area's high crime rates and high local unemployment. In response to these protests, the South African government has called for calm. Government is deeply concerned about outbreaks of violence which may result in loss of life and or damage to property. This is why Cabinet has firmly pronounced on this matter and has expressed full support to ourselves and the Justice, Crime Prevention and Security Cluster to move speedily in resolving these issues to the satisfaction of communities. I wish to appeal to all South Africans to desist from rhetoric or actions that are xenophobic. This developing crisis revives memories of xenophobic bloodshed in 2015, as well as 2008, when 62 people were killed. But contrary to the idea that anti-immigrant sentiment is fairly recent, research indicates that this phenomenon has been an important marker in post-apartheid South Africa. A survey conducted in 1998 found that 87% of South Africans felt that the country was letting in too many foreigners. In a Wits University survey in 2004, residents in inner city Johannesburg, almost two thirds of South Africans, thought it would be a positive thing if most of the African refugees and immigrants left the country. And a 2014 survey by the Gauteng City Region Observatory revealed that levels of xenophobia and intolerance of foreigners are increasing in Gauteng, as 35% of all respondents said that South Africa should send all foreigners home now. People are very often subject to discrimination when they try to access health care. We see a number of people being turned away simply on the basis of their nationality, which of course is unconstitutional. Um, we also see unfortunate incidences of some schools turning away refugees or asylum seeker children because of the fact that their, you know, their nationality is not South African, which also it would be constituted as unlawful. For many refugees, the situation has caused them to return to their original homelands. South Africans much of the violence can be seen as a result of economic frustration, but inept political leadership and poor infrastructure set up for a country with a black majority population should also be considered. In 2015, President Jacob Zuma promised to tackle the country's growing xenophobia, meeting with leaders representing foreign nationals from within Africa, Pakistan and Bangladesh. Yet little progress has been made. Undoubtedly, South Africa's reputation as an exemplary country arisen from racist and colonialist underpinnings is at stake. And more so in geopolitical terms, with Nigeria, the continent's other economic powerhouse. The Nigerian government has already called on the African Union to intervene following the attacks. But for many foreign nationals, South Africa doesn't seem like home just yet.
Adam Amunu, The Report.